welcome to the Crow's Nest. I'm Caroline. And I'm Haley. and today is Wednesday, January 25th, 2017. At this time, let us pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and it is the Lord, and the Lord, and Jesus Christ. Our message for today is about peace as a way of life. If you and a friend are arguing, then you both have a problem. The solution will only come if you are willing to listen to each other and compromise. You both will benefit from the results. How to disagree with people. Not that you need any help. There's lots of stuff to disagree on if you're looking for it. Cake versus pie. Apples or oranges. This sports team versus this sports team. Which movie star is better? Ryan Goose Baby or Charming Tater? I don't know. Some people even argue for tree. You just standing there, huh? Listen to this opinion. I got an opinion. People just get worked up about anything. Even One Direction, they're not all going the same direction anymore. Bye bye Zane, everyone loved you, you broke everyone's heart, bye bye. <laughs> Some people argue about which animal is better, cat, dog, elephant, or donkey. Eh? Anyway. <laughs> okay, okay, you're not always going to agree. Even with the most agreeable person in the world. Just saying. So look, in a world with so many things to disagree on, we gotta learn how to disagree without making everybody feel terrible. Step one, treat people like they're people, people. I know, seems pretty simple. But in a heated argument, you can forget that you're talking to a person. Step two, listen, listen, listen. Listen, before trying to change someone's opinion, take time to listen to them, even if what they say does not make sense. That's the power of treating someone like a person. Step three, pause, breathe, love. When you disagree, you're gonna want to do some crazy stuff. Like yell, or write and release a whole entire album outlining that you're right and they're wrong. Don't do it. Instead, you gotta pause, breathe, love. It's okay to disagree. It's not okay to be mean. Don't say it until you can say it with love. Step four. Are you stuck in an argument? Distract them. Look, I know we don't see eye to eye, but baby koalas are awesome. But we weren't talking about that. Did you see it? Yeah. Three words. Baby koalas. That's two words. All you want to do is disagree. Just enjoy the koala babies, man. Baby koalas bring peace. Step five. Acceptance. Here's something you gotta accept. Not everybody's the same. And that's a good thing. I'm just saying, we need variety. We need disagreement. We may not like it, but we need each other. We just gotta learn to be more awesome to each other. It's like what Nelson Mandela said. If you want to make peace with your enemy, you have to work with your enemy. And then he becomes your partner. And then there's Gandhi. He said, honest disagreement is often a good sign of progress. I mean, both of them have disagreements with people. Well, it's not always easy, but they try to treat people like they're people, people. We can also look to the words of somebody else. The amazing Pokemon, Meow. We do have a lot in common. The same air, the same earth, the same sky. Maybe if we start looking at what's the same, instead of always looking at what's different. Well, who knows? Yeah, that's from the Pokemon movie. So it has to be true. It is true, you know it is. Grown-ups, we kids have been watching you. We've been learning how to disagree with people by watching you. We've seen some healthy disagreements and also lots of um, recent disagreements. Nobody wins when all we want to do is win. Maybe we should stop, breathe, love. Step six, dance. The WCHS Drama Club will be holding final auditions for their annual spring play tomorrow from 6 to 8 p.m. This year they will be performing William Shakespeare's A Midsummer's Night's Dream, and auditions are open for students in grades 7 and up. Auditions will be held at the Song and Dance Studio in downtown Winfield. The play will be presented starting March 9th, and it will be great fun for everyone involved. See Mr. Kaufman if you have any questions. The WS Geography Bee was held yesterday in the school gym. Ten contestants were tested on their knowledge of geography and current events. Congratulations to all the classroom winners and particularly runner-up Andrew Stovall and school champion Brock Cotton. Brock 
one by identifying Panama as the country bordering Colombia, the Caribbean Sea, and the Pacific Ocean. He will now take an electronic test for an opportunity to compete at the state level. Good luck, Brock. In Junior Honor Society news, current members need to turn in their community service journals by this Friday. Congratulations to the 48 potential new initiates who received invitations to join this year. Your paperwork and dues are to be returned by February 2nd, and save the date, the JHS induction ceremony and reception will be held February 8th at 9 a.m. Current members should see Miss Peoples to sign up to bring food for the reception. Finally, 6th grade students who are asked to usher and act as hostesses should give Miss Peoples your decisions as soon as possible. WSPM. Last Friday, the Boston girls and boys traveled to Hackleburg for the championship round of the Marion County Tournament. The Lady Pirates fell to the Bear Creek Lady Bears and they ended the tournament as the runner-up. The Varsity boys defeated the Marion County Red Raiders and they ended the tournament as the champions. Last Sunday, the Atlanta Falcons won against the Green Bay Packers 44-21. The Falcons will advance to the Super Bowl where they will play New England Patriots that beat the Pittsburgh Steelers by the score of 36-17. The Super Bowl will be held on Sunday, February 5th at 5.30 on Fox. The Pro Bowl will be Sunday before the Super Bowl on January 29th at 7 o'clock on ESPN. Last Saturday, the Alabama men's basketball team fell to the Auburn men's basketball team by a score of 84-64. The player of the day is between Falcons this week. Julio Jones had 9 receptions, 180 yards, and 2 touchdowns. The other player this week is Matt Ryan. Ryan completed 27 of his 38 attempts with 392 passing yards and 5 touchdowns. Who do you think the player of the day should be? Join us again next time for another session of WSPN. The Girls Nest would like to wish a very happy birthday today to Kenneth Aldridge. Enjoy your special day. That's the view from the Crow's Nest. Have, Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Wednesday.